In this video, we're going to take a look at the Tenkara Rod Company Mini Sawtooth Tenkara Rod. Now, this is very different than a lot of the other Tenkara rods out there on the market. Main reason is it is extremely compact and portable. As you can see, it has no cork. The idea behind that is they want to, of course, make it smaller and shorter. That way you can carry it in a backpack, a vest, a sling pack. Um, the idea is you can carry this anywhere, anytime, anything that you're doing. So if you're out there hiking and you're not really out there to fish, but you want to carry one of these small little compact rods with you just in case, you can. And it's so simple that you can get away with basically just carrying the rod uh, with your leader all wound up on there in a pocket full of flies and that's all you really need. So it comes with a few different little things. comes with a rod tube, uh, neoprene rod sock, and this is the kit version. So you get your tippet, they give you a few flies, a little pouch, you also get your leader, and you get your uh, little line clips uh, that you can take on or off. You can decide whether you want to use them or not. Um, but you can basically keep the rod all strung up and wind it around those clips, which is kind of nice. So the rod itself is just under 14 inches long when it's all uh, broken down and slid into itself. It's about 8 foot 8 inches long. So that's a little bit on the shorter side, which is really perfect for what the rod's made for. It's really made for uh, small creeks, smaller fish, you know, brook trout, cutthroat trout, golden trout, just small creeks, high mountain situations uh, where you're already backpacking up there and you just want to bring this small little guy. So you only really want to use this on fish that are under a pound. So you know your small, you know, 6 to 12, maybe 14 inch fish, that's really uh, what this rod is designed for. And you want to use fairly light tippet as well. You want to be using uh, 6x tippet, which is what they give you uh, in the kit. So it's very easy to set up. The first thing you do is you just take off the, the plug to the tip of the rod. And I like to kind of rig it up first before I extend it and pull all the sections out. And the first thing that you do when you get your tin car rod is you just tie a little overhand knot there on the, the Lillian, which is that little Dacron piece. Then you take the leader that they give you, this little furled leader. You've got two ends to it. You've got an end with a fabric loop and then you have an end with a tiny little tippet ring. So the first thing you'll do is you'll take that fabric loop, open up the loop, then just put the leader itself through the loop. And what you'll make is just a little loop there, a little sliding loop. Then you'll just put that over the Lillian just below your knot and you'll just pull it tight. Now when you pull it tight, you want to make sure that you just hold on to the Lillian. You don't want to flex the tip uh, of the rod or you will break it if you're not careful. It's not really meant to flex right there on the tip uh, with just an inch or so out the rod. So hold on to the Lillian, pull it nice and tight, snug it up against the little overhand knot and you're done. Then all you have to do is just tie on your tippet to the tippet ring. If you're just starting out, start a little shorter, maybe two, three feet. If you already know what you're doing, of course, you can put up to five, six feet. It's really personal preference, whatever you want to do. Uh, most people seem to fall in the range of maybe three or four feet or so of tippet, and you're, you're ready to go. And you can tie that on with just a clinch knot uh, or whatever simple fisherman's knot that you like to use, but a clinch knot's just fine. Then, of course, just carefully extend the rod out, all the sections, all the way out to eight and a half feet. Now, let's say you're finished for the day, you're all done, and you're ready to head back down the mountain. You don't have to disassemble this if you don't want to. You can simply just leave the Lillian out just a little bit, put the plug back in, take your leader in your line, and just wind it around your line winder. And then, of course, you can just kind of loop it in, And there you go. So it's all kind of tucked away, nice, clean, and neat, ready to head back down the mountain. So great little rod. has a non-slip grip. I forgot to mention that, too. Even though it doesn't have a cork, it's kind of like a rubberized material down there uh, at the base of the rod. So um, it doesn't really get too slippery when it's wet. But great little rod. Really kind of a neat little tool just to take with you. 
uh, if fishing is kind of a secondary function for you and you're really out there just to hike and enjoy the outdoors, you can still carry a small compact rod out there with you. And that is the mini sawtooth 10 car rod.